right, today we are at Ace and White, and I wanted to introduce you to Jim Phillips, and he is the executive vice president, president of the company. And so I'm just going to turn some time over to him, and he's going to explain to us all about this company and how they began, a little bit of history, and then about the product. So, yeah. Well, thank you. We appreciate you taking time to come down and visit with us. Hopefully we uh, can shed a little light on what we think is a great product. Um, the Azomite was actually was a registered trademark to stand for A to Z of minerals, including trace elements. And that was trademarked in the 1940s. Okay, so it is Azomite and not Azomite. It's uh, Azomite. Azomite, yep. okay. Azomite with a long A. And Roland Anderson, the uh, gentleman that didn't uh, serve in Utah, was uh, doing some different things and, and originally thought he was claiming a bentonite. Uh, uh, okay. And once they started testing, he could tell that this was different than any, uh, anything else that he'd been, been working with in, uh, in the plane. And, and so he started testing, and after they have done analysis work and stuff, that's when he coined the phrase, A to Z of the Okay, so they discovered all those yeah, minerals yeah. Early, on, uh, early on. Early uh, on, they discovered that. And, and okay. saw, you know, from the outset, yeah. saw great results in uh, the turkeys over at Lone IT, um, and in plants, gardens, you know. and so he was he was very excited about oh, it. Oh, and I love hearing that. It's naturally mined right out of the ground, and it is completely safe to use on plants, to the animals. Yes, uh, uh, human consumption. We, we don't promote it as such, but we're not just people. But they make it in their own juice in the morning. How about that? And so, That's you know, it's, well, it's, it's organic juice. Yeah, and 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 it's um, piece of property right. here that allows us you know, to meet today's demands and go into the future as you know, it continues to gain acceptance. Where's yeah. your where's your uh, quarry? The quarry, the quarry. is is roughly uh, 25 miles south here. Oh. Uh, the painted rocks at the So we take uh, we take the material and actually crush it at the quarry for eight inch minus. Okay, let's go to the way This is crushed at the quarry and then we stockpile it. Um, you know, we, we crush it and pile it up to make sure to try to keep it dry and um, okay. uh, you know, limit any kind of that outside contamination or anything like that. We, so we stockpile it there and then we bring it up, keep it under a, uh, a roof um, that so that we can control the moisture. Or, or just uh, we're not really concerned so much about the leaching as we are. We like to keep the moisture. Okay, um, want it absolutely yeah. dry. Uh, exactly. Okay. Uh, you know, it's not totally dry, but we, uh, in our standard products, uh, for the like, moisture industry, we have about 6 to 8 percent moisture content. Okay. Um, so you have to so, watch that. Yeah, we have to, we have to watch that, and we actually uh, run it through a little rotary dryer to, huh? to make sure that we meet those specifications wow. for the quality. One of the things that stood stood out to me about the hazelnut from the very first time I was introduced to it is, you know, in a rock, and, and you look at the big boulders down at the bottom, you just see all of the different uh, uh, components. That so you can see, you know, there's different uh, different formations in there, different particles, and that's where the, all of the um, that wide variety. In a typical analysis, there'll be 70 elements that show up. On some, uh, yeah, that's on phenomenal. Some level. Yeah, and then you know those elements are in different mineral combinations. And, and it's really formation. what's missing in our soils. We put the big guys on nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, yes. but these things are what makes all the difference. Yes, uh, we see a, roughly a third of our business is exported outside of the United States. Yeah. Really? Um, and for poultry applications, for shrimp feed applications, oh, for fertilizer applications. Um, and so you know, you've they're, been feeding the fish. They're feeding yes, the we're fish feeding with. the feeding the fish, and you know, there's a lot of case studies and stuff on our website, hazemite.com. Okay. If, if you want to go there and take the time to sort through them, everything from the broiler chickens to you know, tilapia, 
Oh, wonderful. Rice, all kinds so of So we uh, can stuff. just go read the testimonials, and it's yeah, at azomite.com. Yes. Okay. A-Z-O-M-I-T-E dot com. Okay, great. So, but I, what I started to say is some of those countries that we export to, um, they've done quite a bit of work trying to optimize, and they've been able to back off the, the macronutrients and have actually mm -hmm. increased yields. Really? By applying... So they're saving money. They're, they're saving money. And they're, are they backing off their feed too? Um, uh, usually on the feed side, what we see most on the feed side is like an improved feed conversion from the, from the animals. So you know, they get bigger with, on, the, on the same amount of feed or oh. the same size on less feed. Okay. Kind of a... Uh, That's great. So... Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we're... Uh, and some of those places, uh, you know, it goes through multiple levels of distributorship, you know, to get it to the small farmer in the back, you know, oh, in really? the back country, and, and they still see a significant price savings. Wow. So, so we should be grateful. <laughs> so, yeah. No, we get, you know, it's one, well, of our, uh, it's one of the things that we always scratch our head about is, you know, how can we talk people into buying this, you know, in China yeah. with all of the freight and all of the other things that are associated with it, and people look at you, you know, funny when you say, you know, you but should try this, and there's true. no freight, and there's, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, you're, you're it's just one. great. Well, I've used it for uh, four years now. Well, actually, yeah, it was 2008. I don't know how many years ago that was, so, be but five it's now. been yeah. awesome, so I'm all about it. We think it's a great a great product, <laughs> yeah. for sure, and we have, uh, you know, and it's gaining, you know, we've been growing, our, our company has been growing at a, at a pretty rapid uh, clip because... Yeah, uh, I've actually seen it yeah. at, at some of the... A retail store, so I'm glad. You yeah. Know, it's there. So we think so. it's good, and we're excited yeah. to have, uh, you know, people like yourself that utilize the product because you know it is overcoming that. Uh, yeah. Um, skepticism by people is a, is a big part. It's of the huge, issue. and so that's why we're here. So I <laughs> so. appreciate it. Uh -huh. Jim, I was wondering. Uh, for me, I know that mycorrhizal so fungi, bacteria, earthworms, that whole community that's in the soil. Are really important and we try every way we can to increase that community. How does azomite benefit that? Yeah. It's not something that we try to make as a direct claim but you know we have customers that, um, that I know are have bought specifically for their worm farms. Oh really? Um, we've had, we have customers that uh, mix in compost teas and with, with different mycorrhiza stuff to, uh, to promote that health. We see in the shrimp ponds tremendous difference in the algae growth with and without the, the, the azomite. Um, you know, so it, it uh, comes back to that all living uh, life forms These need, are the need, building need micronutrients blocks. and you know it's hard to outguess mother nature as to what exactly is needed. So if you provide that uh, broad spectrum and a little bit of everything why then the plant or animal can kind of choose for itself. And I think that's important too to understand uh, you're not trying to be specific for any one particular thing it's just a yeah. broad spectrum. Yeah of it, it's natural nutrients. what we mine is what you get we, it's the product very consistent. Yeah. Nothing been, added to it. Nothing added yeah. it's it is you know it's mother nature's yeah. recipe. Yeah and um, uh, I was I, I am aware, and correct me if I'm wrong, that when I put that down on my row, I don't have to worry about it burning my plants, yeah. and uh, it, they will just take what they need. Exactly. And that, and then it'll, it'll feed the mycorrhiza and uh, all those fungi, along with everything else that's growing there. Yes, uh, that's absolutely correct. That's awesome. It's part of the exciting, one of the exciting uh, yeah, benefits. No yeah. burning, just good results. So it's a, a great way to prepare the soil yes, to grow absolutely. great plants. We think so. Okay, well, right. thank you thank again. You. <laughs> so we're here at the, kind of the heart of the bagging uh, and packaging operation. And we, uh, we do multiple sizes, everything uh, from bulk down to 10-pound uh, bags. Okay. And we're going to this product. Um, but our standard is 10, 44, and then whatever size of uh, total or super stack that you buy. Oh. One ton, one metric ton, kind of things. We have three products. Three main products: uh, a micronized product, which is um, a 200 measures. I like to call it flour. Yeah, it's like powder. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just like it's like flour. 
And so do you use that in like hydroponics? They use that in hydroponics. Okay. You know, some of the feed applications okay. they use that. Sure. Yeah, in yeah. the water. Like in the water or for species like shrimp. Oh. Where okay. you know they don't really have a big mouth to, to they, take um, they a big part of it, so they um, they use it in those kind of applications. And then we have our eight inch minus, which is um, basal crop course and uh, uh, basal feed course, which is still has a significant portion of the, at the 200 mesh, so the very fine particles um, aren't up to a raging size on up to an 8-inch mm -hmm. minus. And so, so as you put that down on your row, the powder might be more assimilated, to, yeah. but then later, yes, the larger particles, particles will begin to break down. Yeah, so it'll exactly. feed for a long time. Yes, so it has that, has that potential. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in the, in the limited testing that we've done, we didn't see any difference in the plant grows from a uh, micronized versus the So they all do the same thing? Course. Yeah. It's just different uh, It's a little sizes. bit different sizes. Okay, yep. great. Well, I know that we're stocking up on this, and uh, I, I have loved it for years. And I want to thank you so much for this tour. And, and people can go onto your website at azonite.com and read testimonials and what other ranchers yeah. and farmers are doing out there. Yes. Yeah, all the different applications. Uh, we've got a lot of accredited research. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, so it's not all, you know, it's not just about your word and, and my word. It's about, you know, we've, we've got accredited research um, showing the, the great results that we get from the product. Okay, well, thank you so much for doing yeah, this. Thank interview. you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah. All right. <laughs>